Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gaming Token here. Welcome to episode 22 of Let's Play Europa Universalist series as Italy with the goal of recreating Roman Empire and getting the Mare Nostrum achievement. We started as Florence but it's going good so yeah, Italy is the superior nation. And before I continue I'd like to thank you all for watching the show and for participating in commenting on the show and giving me feedback. It's incredibly valuable and I cannot stress this enough how rewarding it feels when you, uh, the players, uh, excuse me, the viewers and other players of the game uh, give me mm, advice and send requests. Uh, it actually really uh, gives me a lot of joy. Mm. On other news I'd like to point out that the most viewers actually are right now in Massachusetts, USA, Virginia and surprisingly Alaska. Well, perhaps not surprisingly, but I'd like to say a big shout out and say hi to you. It's uh, glad to have you with us and I hope that uh, you enjoy the show. When it comes to Europe, uh, Finland is top. So hello Finland, unfortunately you are under Swedish domination in our series, but uh, yeah, I'm really flattered that uh, people from Finland are watching me and uh, what was I going to say uh, again? I'm, I'm sorry I got a little nervous, so uh, I'm not to use in praising and thanking. So, yeah, and without further ado, let's get back to the video itself and to gameplay. In the last episode, we have managed to beat uh, convincingly a huge coalition against us when we took a curtain out of this conflict, a crucial fort uh, in this war. Excuse me, make no mistake, a crucial fort in this campaign, which we upgrade right now because it's in the mountains, it helps to control the Alps, and Alpine uh, passages are natural borders for us. Uh, the heartland of Italy is safe as long as these forts are operational up and running. Uh, additionally, we also had a war with Ferrara, which is no longer independent, and used that as an opportunity to hit the Pope hard again. So good for us, uh, the campaign continues, and it's really accelerating, we have beaten Ottomans to number one world power, obviously, and soon enough I think we'll have to fight the Ottomans. Uh, interestingly enough, the Polish have turned out to be magnificently competent enemies, who were just as good at fight as we were, all things considered. So all loans are repaid, now we can focus on investments, and there are a few kinds of investments I'd like to do. I'd start with uh, financial investments because we need to keep our economy running strong. So, uh, no, actually this isn't the best idea. I think there's a very unpleasant event on the way that reduces uh, income from this kind of goods. We are going to build that in Bosnia. Uh, the heartland is the key. So Milan, Brescia are going to get manufactories. Apart from that, it starts time building a regimental camp, so we're starting on that path. And wow, 1000 spoils of war, that was a magnificent money sum. We could get uh, a lot of uh, in three points. Or we could get loyal burgers and not get three development. At this point, three development doesn't mean much because we have 1200, so... Keeping the burgers happy will actually serve us better in the long run. The problem is, of course, uh, influence. They have too much of it. And that's not too good. Um, we have big trade income, so I'm afraid this influence will actually go even up or not. Well, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, it is what it is, we have to work with that and keep in mind that we need to be afraid of a plutocratic coup in the future. Uh, but burgers are really paying the dividend with uh, that trade money, especially considering the fact that uh, we have over extension and reduced global trade power. Excuse me, trade power abroad. We'll get out of there, move to a more competent and friendly place. Comfy, I should say. 2000, it's 1550, so yeah, you can go into province, uh, get it under our merciless control. And let's uh, send this navy here, let's not lose sailors 
foolishly. Continue building up the economy. Move to regimental camps soon enough. Uh, everything that's worth 0.1 plus ducat is uh, in good in my books as an investment. There's still a lot of time to finish this campaign, so investing in economy buildings right now is uh, the thing, I think. Uh, Theodoro has insulted us. Well, Theodoro, that actually makes me think that a visit... Oh, and finally we've discovered uh, Asia. It took ages and I was so focused and preoccupied with coalition war that I didn't check world map for quite some time now. And my, it's looking interesting. Uh, Malacca is strong and Korea is strong as well. Japan is united. Ming is... Ming, as usual. <laughs> Okay, hello Ming, and uh, Delhi, uh, is Bengal a Ming tributary? No. So the Indians are quite independent and they are doing their thing, mighty hormones. Iraq being rather strong. Now we can really assess Ottoman enemies and it's only me and France. Oh well, I suppose we have to do the heavy lifting ourselves there. It would be lovely to put excuse me, a uh, trade merchant in Gulf of Aden and start sending money here, but we need Alexandria for that. Uh, Yemen would be an easy state to conquer and get the control of the Arabian Peninsula and then move towards Ottomans. Although Homer's is allied, so not really. Alright, so this is the extent of Ottoman alliances. Hormuz and Tunisia don't really matter. Well, Tunis is annoying. So that's that. But it will help us to plan now. We can really do the world game. And Mr. Grimaldi... Mm, I think he might have served his purpose at this point. Which is unfortunate because he's really getting those stats, but... I dread to elect him again as a, as a leader due to his age. You know that righteous really does stabilize things. I think I will actually and I will strengthen the government two times. Thank you Mr. Grimaldi, you are still essential really to us as an asset. Spain and Milan need to be fought soon. So yeah, times are not that uh, simple. And those financial investments need to... And this... Wow! Amazing! At the 1st of January, exactly, uh, this happens. Let's see where, exactly. Napoli. Oh, mamma mia, right? Pizza. Pizza will be a really global good in this game, I suppose. Excellent, lots of points. And a big boost to um, trade power in Genoa's Genoese trade node. This is most excellent news. Finally, we'll be able to get, um, um, excuse me, uh, admin tech. And we should get it really fast. Yes, definitely. This will be the easiest tech group to get. Perhaps showing them the middle finger could be satisfactory. Nine points right now. We are keeping our allies close to the chest. Oh, okay, it was it was lovely to get, so very beneficial. And we are waiting for truces to end. That, that that's a long list. We need to read it slow. 1602 with Milan. Guaranteeing by French. Now that's a problem. And who else are they allied with? Salzburg. <coughs> Excuse me. Perhaps declaring on Salzburg will allow us to drag in Milan without losing French as allies. I think that is the most sound course of action right now. Even if not the most uh, economic one. Okay, uh, not worth it from our calculations. This isn't that good either. Uh, what about the forts? We have Alpine 
uh, range fortified. Uh, Kosovo. Kosovo needs a fort. We don't want to get too many forts right now. Our trade income is reduced. Excellent. Excellent, my friends. Uh, more? No. Rooting out corruption works fine. Our fleets are maintained. Let's cash in the money. God knows we'll need it. And I'm hesitant to invest in Bosnia because it's at such an exposed flank. Yeah, I see. Uh, why is that so? Current prices. Oh yeah, that was the event, but I was clicking so fast I didn't read it, so finally it happened. And you see that uh, manufacturing in Rome would have been a bad investment. Okay, let's get that tech up and running. We really need those points. As ASAP as possible. Hmm. 1604. Demand military power. Little power. While losing loyalty for a short period of time. I think this is worth... I mean, even, they aren't even disloyal. This is definitely worth it and it gives us trade efficiency. Plus a little uh, work room to maneuver. Finally, we can draft ships for war. Once every 30 years. Unfortunate. Uh, clergy. Good damn it, clergy. It's one time when I actually want you to be a little more influential. You decide to go on a little joyride and become not so influential after all. Well, that settles it. Central Italy needs to become a state of powers. And, oh god, it always hurts to watch. We're going to give it entirely to clergy, I think. Just so that we can use them to get a good minister. Abruzzi, of course, is going to take clergy happily and loyally, and they are 40% at last. And let's get a theologian. A theologian are the preferred advisors. They are superbly useful and competent. This will reduce our income but increase point gain, which is crucial. We are behind. And clergy, would you mind? Oh, uh, you wouldn't. Not yet, at least. So never mind. Please stop it, it's annoying. No cultural ties, military admin is necessary. Truce with Denmark, Frisia and Flanders is over. How's our army status looking? Still for regiments to hire. I think, my friend, you will get some reinforcements here. Mm -hmm. So let's continue our fight with Italy. This is the best clay we can get right now. Uh, the state needs the money. I think the state needs the money. Thank you. Okay, enough of that. Let's start building uh, regimental camps. Uh, first and foremost, outside of Italy. And then we'll move uh, inwards where the main economy part is. Oh, good, good. 60. Are there any more important and useful sources of trade which we'd like to take? I think La Mancha seems like the province we want. Well, of course, we want all these provinces, but... Uh, never hurts to speed it up. Or reduce the costs, at least. Uh, Ah, flintlock muskets. Supply limit. Excellent. Supply limit is the thing. We'll be able to get many more troops involved in this conflict. Now, uh, how many were, were these? Oh, yes. Four plus two, because artillery is fun to have. Cannons always speak volume. 
and yes, 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 three armies kept in Italy right now. One could think that we are plotting something not exactly friendly towards Milan. And that person would be right, I think. We are plotting something particularly unfriendly towards Milan. Trade power, please. Excellent. We should dominate this so heavily right now. Okay, eight. One point nine four. This is a problem right now, but one we do not wish to address until we know how the coalition situation looks. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll deal with these pirates eventually. Emilia Romana needs to be invited into Italian structures and bur burgers again. I suppose burgers Ferrari is the land for you. Yes. Disgusting greedy creatures as you are. I was saying nothing. Being such nice. Uh, very vulnerable part of our realm. Do we want a fort in any of these? Dalmatia is good to have as it helped us reinforce home. We're not going to spend more money on the forts here. We're just going to upgrade Treviso because this is really useful. Okay, so fort levels that are fine. Uh, Genoa could use an upgrade as well. Though it is not as impressing as some other matters. Albenga. Albenga autonomy is rather low. We reduce goods produced. Let's give them the money. It's not expensive at all. At this point, 100 ducats is two months worth of change. And uh, force limit is right now the name of the game. Yes, please, force limit is being increased as we speak. Our armies are becoming more and more dangerous. A little more artillery there. I'll get you an infantry unit. Good, so... The time where we had uh, economical investments is nearing its end. Oh my, I almost forgot his Milan already and we are not maintained properly. So yeah, uh, get Salzburg, threaten München, go to war with them. Oh well, wait a second, they are... Oh damn it, we can't really deal with Milan right now if we don't want to lose the French. Well this sucks. And we want the French as allies. This is irrelevant. Unfortunate that we can't deal with Milan and wow, this this is it. 75 ducats a man for Bonanza. And next on the chopping block is Spain. And we certainly want to deal with the Spanish. So let's march our troops and to start doing some ass kicking and get lower Andalusia as a zone of interest as well. Uh, none of these seem like an interesting target for the nobility to get a land in. Canton seems more attractive. So we're going to add in several states and give this to the nobility. And burgers don't like that. I believe giving this to the burgers will be on the stretching point, though it should increase our trade income even further. Yes, obviously it does, because more money is flowing through this trade node, as you can see. 10 gold already, Italy has number 2 trade power status in this node. And wow, the Portuguese are impressive with their income percentage, excuse me, trade efficiency. This is something to respect and something to keep in mind in the future. 
Now let's build ourselves some additional heavy ships because... Uh, excuse me, first let's check tech. 19, so there's a point in building all those galleons. We are increasing the volume of our military navy to further keep a powerful control over Mediterranean and prepare for war with the Ottomans. Our galleys plus our heavy ships will be essential and we need to think in the long run constantly. Yes, and uh, additional 30,000 to Tarragona and our troops are going to be dead. General is dead. Thankfully we have the points to... This is nice, nine. Just as this one. Perhaps a third. Uh, pitiful man. So we are satisfied with our generals right now, Mr. Casanova. Mm. Ladies' man, I suppose. And yeah, these things are looking rather well. Excu oh, this isn't a good event. Maria Mercia nobility. Oh, golden era. Interesting. Uh, well, we can't afford it. Stopping smugglers have never been so cheap in our life, right? A few months of income and... Oh, interesting. Wow, the Netherlands. We miss it. I think they were created from Jelre, actually. Doesn't happen often that the AI would get uh, to form Netherlands with a state. But here you have it. Okay, uh, time to go ham increase our military spending because ladies and gentlemen as much as peace is pleasant to increase your development war with Spain is coming at April of 1604 and that war will be very engaging so with that being said we'll build a few churches back home And get ready for some warfare. Always nice to do. We also need to keep in mind that in 82 months the Age of Reformation will be over. And that means some changes to our state. First let's uh, increase protection of trade. This is worth it. Yes, it is. It has increased the cost of maintaining this uh, state significantly, but it has also increased our trade income by an additional two ducats, because it sends more money this way. So as you can see, it's a good trade. And wow, minus 0.2 ducats in Rome, I suppose building that courthouse is worth it. And there you go. Catholic is the official religion of the Holy Roman Empire, though there aren't many states in the Holy Roman Empire, so its authority is non-existent. Um, no League War. We replaced League War with our little coalition war, so that must have been fun. Mm. Kaffa as an ally. These people can't stand a chance against our forces. Italian dream of taking Ethiopia could become possible. So I think we are going to march in this coastline uh, soon enough after we deal with Spain. Ah uh, yeah, okay, nice. Brabant joins the Republic, so less coalition targets. Every single uh, Nether Nether Netherland, Dutch, excuse me, Dutch, not Netherland, Dutch state which joins the Republic uh, helps us. Why so, one might ask, because uh, a more centralized enemy uh, means that we have to contend with less uh, base uh, troop values. Every single state has a certain base force limit, etc. So uh, that is to our advantage. Of course, we can't divide and conquer just as easily, so whether this is good or not is 
up for debate and uh, easy war British support fun we don't often fight with the British on the same side I suppose so it should be extra pleasant and let's sail our little friendly oh, the Pope the papal state is fighting Savoy and it has Oh no, the, the Austrians are on Savoyard's side. Interesting. Okay. Cool. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, conflict in Europe continues. The big hit the small. As they would in the past. Oh. The French don't like us. All of a sudden they realize that we have... Uh, Plenty of aggressive expansion and wow uh, 665 regent with 665 f no further questions. This is godlike <laughs> Good luck with us Agreeing to something so absolutely not in our best interest uh, Interesting uh, never mind that. Don't okay. care. So almost time to fight. And difficult fight will that be? Yeah. Okay. Let's do some production. Production income is so good to have. And the training field, uh, where will we benefit from training field the most? Mm -mm -mm. I say we'll benefit the most uh, by looking at our tab. And Barry it is. Thank you for simplifying the choice game. Any moment now? Yes, April is almost here. Portugal and ladies and gentlemen uh, we're back with the show it's time to go to war with uh, Spanish with the Spanish right so well that's a lot of protectorates oh, amusing uh, okay let's let's roll with the show do you want to target Granada as the key point of the war? Yeah, we do want to target Granada. Do we want any allies? No, we'll deal with this ourselves. The time to recruit Moroccans as allies is necessary. As soon as we secure Cadiz, we could call them then. Oh, hello Netherlands. Join the coalition, I see. And you, Milan, good to have you present. So how does this conflict look? It's looking good. Numbers-wise, it might seem that the Spanish have an advantage, but that is a painful illusion. The Spanish don't have, in fact, an advantage. We do. Uh, the Spanish have a lot of troops in Mexico and Americas in general, I suppose. And they need to manage uh, an overseas empire. So, as luck would have it, we have the upper hand. And we also are going to crush enemy navy in the Mediterranean. What I killed then? These are nine tra uh, trade ships, and you are four heavies. We can just shoot some cannons and annihilate them and be done with it. Why on earth would you waste your time on going elsewhere is beyond me. Sometimes those captains do questionable choices. Or I should say take questionable choices. As a sea captain, that is. Okay, so let's keep on marching. Good Cadiz is ours, so will be so will Granada. And these are the key provinces which we want to take in this war. 
good. Let's march on. Nine ships taken. One trade ship to be utilized as we see fit. And actually, we could send it to Sevilla to increase our hold. I should say stranglehold uh, on our excuse me, on a civilian trade node. Because, let's be honest, it is incredibly valuable. Good, La Mancha is ours. The move towards Toledo is on its way. Military administration has finally been developed and we are still behind Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. This focus is, will have to be kept for a while and Grimaldi kicks ass, still alive and working. On that crucial matter. Hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean, please. You can join the main fleet. I don't know if the Spanish won't try to do something funny. So let's just keep safe on that side and uh, retain a huge fleet in Straits of Gibraltar. Where was this? Oh yeah, they are going there. Good. I'm kind of suspicious on over AI uh, choices sometimes. So that's why I'm double checking my facts. Does it feel good to be rich with 50 ducat income per month? I think it does feel quite good. Thank you. Work. Well, let's keep on being rich, filthy rich preferably. Oh, uh, do we want to sacrifice 2,000 troops? I suppose we can retreat to Granada to safety. And yep, uh, knights have actually managed to land. So let's create a contingency force here. A four unit for mercenary unit army and this is uh, unexpected it changes the game plan completely I was going to fight separate wars but I will not be able to do that and war in which we had the upper hand has now turned into a tremendously difficult conflict with Ottomans at, as, as our enemy. It will no doubt change a lot. It will require us to rethink our strategy, start raising war taxes and get that sweet, sweet money and conserve our manpower because we will need it surely soon enough so what is the ottoman navy A mighty 81 galleys oh well this this force needs to actually retreat they will be more useful than I had imagined initially at least. Every single one of these galleys needs to retreat to our homeland. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a development that I am sure has you excited. War with the Ottomans has finally come. I did not start it again. But I will finish it over time. I only pray that the coalition doesn't launch in my face again. And it's high time to focus on heavy ships in our navy. And add some galleys just for good measure. Sea dominance will be the key. And I suppose our budget can lift it, so to speak. 
What are you doing with that iconoclastic fury all the time? Can't you be a little more reasonable, I suppose? I suppose not. Oh well. Granada is ours. We have lost to artillery. Now that's amusing. Let's show these Portuguese the full extent of their mistakes. I was hoping to have the French as my ally in conflict against the Ottomans. But it would appear I'll have to pay for this war myself. The crucial part of the campaign has come. If we manage to beat the... Excuse me, the Ottomans. Uh, the path towards domination will be open. Okay, Portuguese dealt with. Let's deal with Lisbona. Let's continue sieging things up a bit. We can always peace out if we decide that those conditions are unacceptable. We can always peace out uh, if we control the entirety of Spain. Now, uh, this is such a pointless slaughter, Jesus. Finally killed those artillery units. And move here, please. Finish those sieges. Get Madrid, get Galicia. Siege up Iberia so that we can move here. And again, Balkans will, fall, will feel the brunt of the offensive. Perhaps I should have upgraded these forts and built one in Kosovo, but, you know, did not expect that to happen without my uh, planning and influence. Oh well. Two thousand ducats. We can get do better than that, I think. Or we can certainly do cheaper than that. And that's the key point. Okay. Wow, I think we'll be able to get back on track with tech really, really fast. Uh, thank you, Gold Rush. Mm. We can't even reduce uh, inflation. My, my. La Vieja is ours. Castilla la Vieja. I'm probably butchering this pronunciation as usual. <laughs> Let the Ottomans take Egypt and play in the Balkans. We'll form a counter-offensive of epic scale. That once, once it hits them, they'll realize that they have made a big mistake by going against us. Just like the Spanish here. We can't keep Grimaldi, even though he's amazing and just as good as Corsini with the age of 71 on his back and uh, Republican traditions getting a little lower than we'd like I think we have to choose a new candidate and considering what the situation is like tech wise and point wise we need a bureaucrat uh, so that being said Romeo de la Rosa is now the head of our state oh Romeo wise so, Romeo, right? It went something like that. But I'm afraid my uh, memory of Shakespeare can be a little bit rusty. Just a little bit. Who was our navy hunting uh, the Ottomans? And where is the Ottoman navy actually? Hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean, please. Oh, there's the Ottoman Navy. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. I think you'll be going down really soon. Casia, it's careful. Well, Mr. Romeo, you are old. And uh, with age comes experience. I suppose that's why you're careful. That's why you won't be also able to stand and stay in the office for too long, unfortunately. 
Oh well. We'll invest in a new candidate. When the opportunity presents itself, this should go down. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to prevent dealing with Dalmatia. Uh, taking Dalmatia. And this is uh, rather tense right now. If we get a coalition war against us, it will really hurt us a lot. Let's improve relations with some outraged countries. Put a positive spin on things, as they say it. Because I believe we will need to be rather positive right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, things are looking tense again. And this time this, the French might not save us. Including Swedish and Muscovites. So we might be cut down to size. Because of the Ottoman involvement. No white peace with you I see. And the worst should come, we'll be able to white peace the Spanish and deal with the coalition and conquer coalition lands again. Should it come to that. So we have a plan ready just in case. Uh huh. Hello, welcome back to coalition against me. Okay, uh, well. What can you do? Sometimes it happens. Uh, the auto oh my god, how did you get so many ships? Excuse me, this requires some attention so I can't do entertaining commenting when I see a battle of such proportion taking place. I will need to retreat before the enemy manages to hit my navy really really hard let's get to Rome let's unite our fleets and let's take all the oh damn it the Polish uh, yeah sure take it um, I don't mind the Polish are particularly dangerous as enemies they have proven themselves tremendously competent I'm quite excited about fighting the Ottomans in the field they will prove to be a challenge, I'm sure, but one that I think we can deal with. Now the Ottomans are hiring Polish troops. Not good, the Polish are quite elite indeed. And yes, let's take this part of Spain and Iberia. And while our troops are occupied, the enemy is ravaging our east. Oh well. A trade-off we need to accept, even though we hate it passionately. Is it the time to use burgers and ask them for ships for war? We could do that. I mean, it's five galleons. And yeah, control of the navy will be crucial, so let's keep them loyal and let's continue. We could embrace global trade. And that will give us tech advantage. Let's see, the Ottoman tech is 16, it's equal. Well, not yet then. We have the money, we have the reserves, we are going to keep them and use them if they prove to be necessary. There's no point in rushing any economical decisions when you control the situation and I have received uh, feedback from a viewer from Portugal on how to pronounce this uh, name as it is in Braganza. Uh, the lesson was well taken and it should be Braganza I suppose and I hope that uh, I will be corrected should I be still wrong. So Braganza is ours. And that means that the Spanish are going down as well as the Portuguese. So this front is going to be closed soon enough. So, Braganza. I thank you of course for uh, teaching me that. Superbly useful knowledge. And spice trade, so... Good things happen in Spain while they are being uh, subjugated by Italy. I suppose. 
it's good to be positive about things like uh, inventing spice trade. And this looks like a target to strike a navy. Do we have the troops necessary? Not really. Let's wait for those heavy ships. Let's get them, let's gather them in Rome and Tyrrhenian Sea and crush the Ottoman Navy that's currently busy in the Gulf of Venice. Such a strike against them would constitute uh, a big change in the flow of this conflict. And we try not to think about the potential coalition at our door, right? You've got to stay positive. And right now the coalition of course is hanging above us like the Moclesian sword. We're just trying to ignore it the best we can and uh, it's going well so far. So far so good. Excellent Leon is Leon is next. The Ottomans are busy having fun in a Pontic step. And Balkans are slowly falling. Our trade, uh, excuse me, transport ships were found here, surprisingly. You should really go home at war. And good, port uh, the, excuse me, the Spanish forces are gone. Now we can deal with the Portuguese. So that no longer is a problem. I think that we'll have to be wary of any eventual invasions from uh, Americas. Right now it's looking fine in Iberia. And Moroccans are doing us a favor and dealing with Lorraine. Which is nice. I have no quarrel uh, coalition Austria against us. Oh well, uh, yeah, we lost. Why, why did we lose? Uh, this was the trade node uh, army. So let's have a swim. And let's uh, ignore this trade fleet and let's just unite and uh, Cape Bon. I think we're going to have a fight, I suppose. Okay, the Portuguese are gone. Please move right there. And excellent, uh, Evara will fall. So will Cantana, excuse me, Cantabria and Asturias. So, Iberia is well under our control and things are looking better by the minute. Despite the fact that we are in a war with goddamn Ottomans and Spain on two different fronts. Good, thank you. So the few last provinces are going to be taken now and we'll start to think about going. We should go to, where's the Galician port? Finisterre Bay, okay, so go there help with the siege and let's start transporting our fleet back we need to take control of this 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 is Mare Nostrum after all and we will control it let's gather our ships I think these uh, galleys might actually lose I think why can't you run oh well Uh, the Ottomans are here. Let's attack them. Uh, not all of our... Let's get back here and support. This is too important. Uh, we need to keep that navy control on our... Naval control on our side. And yeah, a battle. And the enemy has an admiral, which is a problem. What is our navy tradition, actually? 27, so it sucks, but... Uh, this is better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, to maneuver Admiral. And yeah, bye bye mercenaries. 
too much happening at the same time for us to play it right and we are playing a little too fast for our own good let's just deal with Lorraine and finish the involvement in this conflict so we can focus entirely on the Ottomans good so Beja 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 is dealt with we can start moving our army towards our heartland I can yeah mercenaries are dead and uh, how's the battle looking here well ships are falling on the Ottoman side bye bye Navy is ours so things are looking good so many events at the same time and so little time and let's keep this under our control now shall we and who is there Spanish infantry Galicia is ours so yeah, it's safe to say that uh, Spain is subject oh the, it isn't we need to deal with Portuguese so one army is going to go southwards towards Africa African field of battle the other one is going to go to the mainland the third one is going to deal with uh, Lorraine uh, our Italian army will be there to secure to make sure that the enemy doesn't move into Italy proper and should the enemy be stopped in the mountains and hills of Alps and Treviso then we will move with a counter-offensive into Balkans that's the strategy for the time being in this war should the coalition fire uh, we'll need to reassess our goals and focus more on survival rather than conquest because right now we are hellbent on conquest itself now ladies and gentlemen uh, I am going to finish this episode here at the most exciting of moments as the Ottomans are engaged in a conflict which we did not initially anticipate but it turns out it's going rather well with that being said I suppose the next episode will be incredibly va important for this campaign as it will show us if we can subjugate our only real arrival at this point. If we can do that then I suppose the path towards Mare Nostrum will be wide open. Thank you for your time and uh, goodbye. If you enjoyed the show please like, uh, comment, share, subscribe. It is very valuable to me to know uh, what you think. Bye bye and see you again next time.